Kiki, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, a little bit conflicted this morning. It's, it's a sense of, you know... I'm relaxed because I'm out of the house now and I can talk about it. Sure. But at the same time, it's hard to watch it back on television and relive those feelings that I felt when that happened. It's always hard to kind of see yourself on television, especially when mm. you're going through a bit of an emotional time and going through that with Faith. She, her and I were the last two girls there standing and she and I were very good friends. So it was a bit gut-wrenching. Her and I were texting each other last night. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, who are we tipping to win just quickly? Uh, look, it's hard. My mind changes on a week-to-week basis because oh, I like see... I, ah! <laughs> well, I see the dates on a week-to-week basis and go, oh, I didn't even know that they had yeah. that going on. But um, it's undeniable the connection he has with um, Alex and Nikki and Olena now after last yeah. night. So it's hard to see. So I don't know. Is, is there a point, which it seems it was last night, where you have producers coming up to you and saying, okay, if you don't tell him today how you actually feel, or even if you don't feel, but you better fess up emotionally or, mate, you might get cut. Look, it, the thing is they're there to kind of, I guess, encourage us to be honest with ourselves and things like that because it's a very daunting experience. And the truth is if you don't fess up and tell him how you really feel, you may be the person not getting Wow, they have trained you very well. <laughs> I know. Now, uh, Kiki, I just have to ask, uh, there was an article uh, in the Daily Telegraph. Um, uh, the paparazzi have mentioned that uh, a few of the Bachelor contestants, um, some provocative... Uh, Pap shots. Mm. They're actually set up pap shots for cash. <coughs> I Is that, that the case? I read that actually. It was sent to me because I try not to read the media and things like that. Yeah. And um, I actually, that's not the case in my in my instance because it was my friend swimwear line, and there's no way in hell I would actually let her her designs be released before she was ready to because that could yeah. potentially ruin her business. So that's not what I'm about. But um, there may be other people like that. I'm not too sure. Sure thing. So how was your experience in there? Do you feel that you got a decent crack at getting to know Richie and Richie? getting to know you? I definitely did get a decent crack, but you actually didn't see it on TV okay. at home. I, I spoke to Richie probably, uh, I think maybe two of the cocktail parties is the only time I didn't speak to him. Yeah. But I think because my all my conversations were quite level-headed intellectual conversations, they're not that great for rating, so they yeah. didn't really make the cut. Yeah, well, it's interesting uh, because we had Kira uh, on the show, and yes. I don't know how you two got along, but uh, this is how uh, she mentioned her time in the house. In the house, Rachel and... Not Noni, her other half, Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> were, I don't know, I found it really hard to live with them. They were very um, they were very nice to me. What does she mean by that? Um, I think because Rachel and I are both quite opinionated people and if I'm if I'm I am i am not the type of person to stand by and watch someone be rude to other people and neither was Rachel and it was kind of a um, I guess you can't bite your tongue forever and I had to sometimes pull Kira up a little bit and say that's quite nasty, you know, you can't say that to people. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Now as someone who has been in, in there for as long as uh, anyone else up until we've been watching mm-hmm. last night, mm. uh, of course last night Nikki has said, I have not can or will I have fallen in love. Is that even possible under the circumstances? I can't speak. She's been on two dates with I, him. I understand One that. was week yeah. one. And now <laughs> she's had it. I know. Last week she's complaining like, I've had no time with him since episode one. It was months ago. I, and now yeah. I love him. I understand. Oh, Nikki. I'm a, um, I'm, a little, I'm a bit of a slow burner, so it takes me a lot of time to get to know somebody. And I guess a lot of the other girls are a bit different. Like, they fall in love with you know, Richie quite easily. And it was hard for me to even open up to him and let him into, you know, behind all the walls. So I guess uh, Nikki and I are very different in that. Yeah. I really love Nikki. Um, I do too. I hope she wins. I'm team Nikki. Well, yeah, okay. I keep enough. changing my team. So well, your team's I'm like, gone. I'm like Kiki. Kiki. I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, I don't I know had, anymore. I was I give hashtag up. team Alex. You were hashtag team Megan. But yeah, technically Megan yours walked. Te- yours walked. So technically I, I think you can teams. jump back in the pool. Okay. Yes. Uh, Well, uh, Kiki, we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much for coming on today. Thank you guys for having me. And, uh, yeah, all the best for the future. Have you you found someone in the meantime? Uh, No, I haven't actually. Are you allowed to find someone in the meantime? I'm not necessarily looking either. I didn't want to kind of put myself out there while the show was still on. Yeah, fair uh, enough. Because it's kind of a little bit weird sitting there on the couch with a guy you're dating watching you on a date with Uh, another guy. Very good point. I don't think about that. I'm trying to think logically here, yeah. Kiki, it seems you've got a brain in your head. I like you. I know. <laughs> shock horror. Who would have thought? Well, thank you very much for joining us. All the best for the future. Thanks, guys. Thanks, it's been lovely to be here. Kiki from here. The Bachelor, Bye. ladies and gentlemen.